Anyway, good afternoon. Uh, Frank Coffey here to call to order the Vermont State Workforce Development Board. Wanted to thank all of you for coming and to also tell you that today we have the House Committee on Commerce and Economic Development joining us here today. So I thought it would be good if, if everyone, if we could go around the room real quickly and just say your name and your affiliation. And uh, Frank Coffey, uh, Chair of the Workforce Development Board, and I work for GBIC, which is one of the state's economic development corporations. Dennis. I'm Dennis Pagani with the Vermont AFL-CIO. I'm Nina Lindsay, Director of the North Country Career Center of New York. Representative Bill Botso, I'm Chair of House Commerce and Economic Development. I'm Representative Fred Baser, and I'm on Commerce. <laughs> Representative Steve Carroll, I'm on Commerce. <laughs> Seth Bowden, GBIC. Gary Gazi, President of Vermont High Tech. George Sable, Northwest Job Force. Jen Timmick, the owner manager of the office. Lindira, retired school counselor in career and technical education. Tom Longstreet with Lisa. Bill Stensolin with Ben and Darius. Scott Gens from Gold Powder. Corey Parent, uh, representative from St. Albans on House Commerce. Representative Tristan Tolino, <coughs> legislative appointee to the board. Greg McGuire with uh, Revision. Jeff Spaulding, Chancellor of Vermont State College. Uh, Ellen Taylor, Vermont Sustainable Jobs Fund on the board. Bob Eagle, President of Food and Living. Hi, we've got you now. And we have uh, members on the phone, I believe, as well. Um, you no, I just got connected. Okay. Um, um, can, can you tell us who's on the phone? Janet Bombardier. Janet Melissa's with Champlain College. Uh, Janet is with Global Foundries. And Judy Geiger from Killington. Judy Geiger from Killington? Huh? Okay, great. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, once again, we do have Wi-Fi. It's the Montpelier Elks Club, and the password is Exalted Ruler. <laughs> um, so... The first few meetings that we had, I could look in your eyes and see 
too much bureaucracy. We're not, you know, we're sitting here, you've given up your time, several hours of your time to come. We had to get through that. A lot of the, the federal regulatory things that we have to deal with require that. Um, but you joined this board to do something, and, uh, and we want to do something. So uh, one, one of the greatest needs in Vermont right now is, and the greatest challenges we're having is demographic issues. And any of the employers that are here will be first to tell you that um, with an aging population, aging workforce, we've got to get more creative on uh, how we're going to build a qualified workforce for the future. So we really started looking at uh, career and technical education, knowing that the Agency of Education, the Agency of Commerce and Community Development, and the Department of Labor had been working on a report on Act 51, which focuses on career and technical education. So uh, we thought it would be a real good subject matter for us to take today, divide up into a couple groups, and really plow down into this to see if there, if there are meaningful possibilities to pathway students that are in high school and maybe work on curriculum development to help them pathway either into employment or into higher education or certification or something that provides you as employers with uh, qualified employees and also gives these young Vermonters a more sustainable economic opportunity for them. I just, I look at the statistics and 40% of our high school students are not going on to anything immediately upon graduation. And just, you know, roughly, I didn't look into the statistics in our office, we just broke down the number of students that are in uh, K through 12 in Vermont, and we estimate that that number is like 2,600 Vermonters. And then if you take into consideration that we lose another 500 of them in the next year because they don't succeed or, or they, they want to take a break, um, these tend to be the Vermonters that stay here. And they're, they're living in their parents' homes or, or wherever. And so, we thought we really, really need to better understand career and technical education. So we've asked Deputy Secretary of Education, Heather Boucher, to join us here today. This report on Act 51, on career and technical education, I thought I knew something about career and technical education. This really provided a good foundation to understand how we do career and technical education today how it's governed and how it's paid for, um, and who's participating, how many students are participating. Um, the report, you can be the judge of, if you think the report goes far enough, fast enough, um, that'll be for all of us to determine, but uh, the report is really, really well done. And we thought we'd start out today with, with Heather giving you an overview of the report. So Heather, thank you. Thank you.